Welcome back, traders. Second portion of our show, market movers. And believe it or not, we're leading it off with Microsoft, Dennis. Yeah, Microsoft obviously came out that we talked about on the Big Ten show, warning about fourth quarter PC sales. Uh, stock traded down pretty significantly, not quite down as far as it was. 2745 trading after closing at 2784. Technical perspective, we're starting to get a wall up there, 2810 to 2815. That's 60 cents higher. Uh, but if we were to get up there the next day or two, I think you definitely have a good area where you might be able to try a short up there. Uh, support here looking, you might get some of the 27 area. What do you think, Joel? Yeah, I, th- I think the best reference point I could give our traders this morning is 27.40.41 here. Really seems to be bottoming out there in the pre-market. Uh, so if, uh, if in fact that, that 27.38 low, uh, which was made just, uh, uh, about 10 minutes ago, um, if that doesn't hold, um, look to this to trade down at least 27.39, which is Thursday's low, and then perhaps test the $27 level. Um, any pop back up to, uh, 27.50, minor resistance, uh, but the major resistance stands at Monday and Tuesday's lows at the 27.72 to 75 level. Uh, we might as well talk about Coke and Pepsi again. We did touch on Coke in the in the show. UBS downgrading both of these stocks here this morning. Coke's trading at 68.70 right now after closing at 69.34. Uh, moving on just to Pepsi. Pepsi here is uh, weaker as well with the UBS downgraded at um, 65.01 after closing at 65.66. Offer down at 65.25. So just bringing up a chart for you on Pepsi as well. That's uh, Looking like uh, that 6501 here, 65 might give you a little. Start to take that out, then we could maybe touch down and you know eventually get down to the 64 area. But both of these stocks technically are starting to look weak, Joel. Yeah, that $65 level, uh, that was the high on Monday, uh, should serve as good support. Uh, below that level, things really start to open up here in Pepsi. I mean, we haven't been under $65 uh, since December 20th uh, when we made a low at uh, 64.62. So if, in fact, if we can hold the $65 level, uh, let's look for 64.62 to come into play. Uh, Coca-Cola, as we talked about on the Big Ten show, um, has bottomed out in the pre-market at this time um, at 68.60, uh, which uh, couples with uh, last week's low. Um, if, in fact, 68.60 can't hold, uh, be looking for the 68.30 and the $68 level. Urban Outfitters, which is URB, and this is another one here that has been absolutely uh, killed this morning. Stock actually on the chart was uh, starting to look pretty good, breaking out over $30 there yesterday. But CEO resigning today puts all that to rest. Twenty four eighty right now after closing at twenty nine forty one. So it's taken out a lot of different support areas. Twenty four dollars might provide some. What do you think, Joel? Yeah, these retail companies are, I mean, they just, the, uh, the leaders just come and go here with reckless abandon. Um, I'm looking back and on October 21st, uh, the stock bond about at 2383. That's another stick away from here. I'm not sure we're going to get there. Uh, below that, you also have the October 20th low at 2312. Um, it really takes a major follow through to, to get down to those levels. Um, a little bit more relevant numbers. Uh, we seem to be getting a nice bounce here in the pre-market. Uh, actually did hit 2385. So let's keep that's a buck away from here. So that $24 level is going to loom is uh, pretty good support. Uh, coming back on the upside, a um, few times that it's come up and uh, tried to tried to rally. Um, it's been halted at 2520. So we can call that uh, minor resistance in the stock today. Uh, Lenar Corp, which is another house builder, L-E-N is the symbol on that one, Joel, came out with earnings. Uh, they actually did miss by a penny. Stock traded down 20 to 2040 originally, popping back up. It's almost flat on the day now. So this is an interesting one. It's a stock that's had a heck of a run since October. You can see it's 14 all the way up to 21 and, and changed there yesterday. I'd look at that 2150 area as uh, maybe goes into rally mode, and I'd give $20 of support area. So kind of trading right in the middle of that. So if we were to start to go into rally mode, there is some good numbers up for you a little bit higher. 
Yeah, of course, Dennis. Uh, good point. I think I uh, made a new high of the move up here at 21.49, 21.49 before peeling back, uh, closing at 20.76. Uh, what's interesting to note here, folks, is you have three consecutive lows here from 20.39 to 20.63. Um, in the pre-market, we have got snuck below those levels and get as low as 2030. So I'd really have to see how this thing behaves here around the $2050 level. Um, below that, things really open up um, until the 1960 level. Uh, two lows back at the beginning of the year, 1956, 1963. Let's talk about Crocs, Joel, C-R-O-X. Stock came out, actually raised their fourth quarter revenue guidance. That's giving the stock... 1595. It's now trading at 1711. 16. It's a huge breakout over that. That seemed to be a wall. So the earnings is there. So the revenue guidance has pressed it way above that. That will probably act as support. I don't know if I see that coming into play today with the stock being up as much as it is. But I'm um, looking. You know, you're at 1708. $18 on this looks pretty big. We topped back in that area uh, in November. We did cut through it actually there in November as well. But it started round down from there. So I'd say the 18 area overall could give you some resistance. What do you think, Joel? Uh, well, I have to go back to my retail opinion, and um, I think anybody that uh, wears cracks that's over five years old uh, should have their head examined. But um, obviously, that was a popular opinion of the uh, of the stock uh, when it hit seventy dollars back in uh, '07 and came crashing down. Um, just not sure, you know, where the you know sales uh, is going to come from, but they have raised guidance, so the only thing we can do is talk about the numbers. Had a breakout here above the uh, above uh, that sixteen dollar level, now trading at seventeen oh eight. I keep an eye on the, uh, the pre market high at seventeen fifteen. Uh, if in fact it can break above that seventeen fifteen, but it hasn't done for a while. Um, be looking at the uh, 1738 to 1750 level, which was uh, the lows that we had, or excuse me, the highs that we had back in November. Uh, so we'll see how this thing acts in the first 15 minutes. Got a lot of upgrades and downgrades today in, uh, in major stocks like 3M getting a downgrade at Goldman Sachs. Obviously, we talked about the Pepsi and Coke. Um, other movies like Waste Management, we've got that one trading down significantly here. So you're seeing some of your more conservative stocks getting upgrades and downgrades today, and that's pushing these stocks out. So I think uh, you need to look at definitely check out the upgrades and downgrades. Market Watch is a good site to check those out on. Um, overall, Joel, what I'm seeing today is kind of, kind of quiet. A little weakness in the tech sector, which is probably to be expected considering Microsoft's sales forecasts. Uh, so I'd expect that to be one of your weaker sectors. Steel overall is looking a little bit stronger today. Uh, stocks like U.S. Steel, which is X, and AKS had an upgrade actually today. It's trading at 9.15. Uh, just bring up a chart on AKS. Maybe you can do a quick technical on that one, Joel. AKS. Yeah, I mean this is a uh, this is a low price stock here. Um, hasn't really been in the news all that much. Really seems to be running into some problems here at uh, the nine dollar level. Um, above nine, I do see some highs there at nine fifteen, nine twenty. Uh, coming back on the downside, looks like we have uh, major support here um, at the eight sixty level. That's all I've really got for you today here, though, Joe. So keep in mind the tech stocks are probably going to be your, your week. Okay, let's keep an eye on that Globex low. Dennis, uh, 12, uh, 1279 and a quarter, and uh, expect to find some resistance uh, if we get back up to the close at 1286, um, up to the Globex high at 1287.75. Uh, our swing number uh, this early in the session now will be 1283.50. So see if the market wants to settle here above the 1280 for the second consecutive day and uh, we confirm our next leg up. Well, I hope you enjoyed our show for today, folks. Uh, we'll be back with you tomorrow morning.